From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, our God indeed is worthy to be praised. I'm Pastor Jeffrey A. Johnson, Sr. I'm the senior pastor of the Eastern Star Church in Indianapolis in Fishers, Indiana. And I'm here to exhort you out of God's word. Today is coming from Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Here's what God's word says. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. When you and I gave our faith to Jesus Christ for salvation, his Holy Spirit moved inside of us. His Holy Spirit is on you, in you, under you, around you, and his Holy Spirit is keeping you and comforting you even in the midst of the crisis that we're facing. It was um, this commercial airline jet was with more than 200 passengers was flying over a private island near Portugal. And then the engines on the jet went out. They just gave out. And I don't know a lot about aerodynamics, but I know if you don't have engine power in e either of the engines, it's not likely that the plane is going to stay up. And so the pilot is coming over the sound system and telling every passenger to get in your seat and buckle your seat belts and helping them to understand the impending danger that they're in. But then the pilot was able to land that plane safely, though he had no engine power with all of these people on there and the size of that kind of uh, commercial airline jet. And so when the media shows up, the passengers are celebrating the pilot because of his ability to be able to hold up that plane with no engine power and to get them to land safely. And when the reporters went to interview the pilot, he said, I, I hear what the passengers are saying, but he said, I didn't do that. There's nothing anybody can do to hold up a plane. It doesn't matter how many flying hours I have and the training I have and the time I put in. He says, no, I didn't keep that plane up. And so the reporter said, well, how did it happen? The pilot said, I was able to catch some air currents and I rolled those air currents until I could land this plane safely. You think about that. Had we been standing on the ground looking up, we would have thought that somehow that plane is doing all right. Even without the engine power, that plane is doing good. Look at it gliding, look at it landing safely. But the pilot was honest enough to let us know he didn't do it. It was an unseen reality, air currents that you can't see with the naked eye, but it held them up and allowed them to glide in safely. In this crisis, in this chaos, in this confusion, so many things that we have depended on traditionally to hold us up have given out. Jobs, employment, health and strength, so many things have given out on us. But the good news is we can still make it off an unseen reality. When other people are looking at us and wondering, how are they staying up? How are they making it? How, do they, how are they surviving? How are they thriving? Even in the midst of all of this, it's because of an unseen reality. The Holy Spirit who is on you and around you and under you and in you to help you to survive and thrive. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for giving us your Holy Spirit. That even when other people can't see how we're making it and how we're thriving and how we're overcoming, we know it's you. And we praise you for holding us up and keeping us up when so many things are falling down around us. And Lord, I pray that you'll continue to bless your people through your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.